Welcome to Looptopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. Today we're going to talk about planting peanuts. Peanuts are really exciting to grow and they're fun. And we'll take you through some of the process here. But where you're going to start is getting raw peanuts. And you can buy these from a grocery store. Some of the places will sell them raw. The sprouting will be so-so. But the issue is it's really hard to find raw peanuts for seeds like I looked everywhere and the place that had it was that one little country hardware store that stills you know feed to the local farmers you can find them there these are Valencia um, no relation to the oranges as far as I know I think I talked about them being cousins in another episode but so you probably recognize the red peanuts um, this thing growing out of here this is actually the taproot and that is what you want to put down into the ground the other part is coming up uh, from the inside, so it's kind of weird if you've been eating peanuts your whole life and you never actually seen them grow. What you do is it's a simple, you know, uh, sprout method. You you kind of just gently dampen a towel, put them in a bag for about three to five days, and they will start growing like this. And now you can pick the right ones. Now to increase the chances, um, and the well, actually the the yields and the ground health you can inoculate your peanuts and what that means is it puts a bacteria on that actually helps peanuts and legumes uh, grow little nodules that make nitrogen they pull nitrogen gas out of the air and put it in the soil so i'm gonna do that and i got these from mountain valley on the internet i can link it if you're interested in doing a lot only issue though is there's no directions on this. It is just one big long legal threat. So if you're listening, Mountain Valley, not cool. How about put some directions on and stop worrying about your lawyers? Worry about your business. There, I said it. All right. Um, so you're just going to put these in. And basically, I just put like a little spoonful and some. I'm using well water. You know, don't put the chlorine stuff in and because there's bacteria in here. And this bacteria you want to get on the roots and since the roots are already sprouted this should be pretty easy all right so i'm just going to drop these things in here and i'll have to fish them out i'll probably just pour the water out onto the soil and anyway you don't need to watch me do all those so i'm gonna leave them for a few minutes so some of these the sprouts will just knock the peanuts off and usually that's okay just put them in the ground but you can get a good idea of there's the little leaf guy end coming out. It's kind of interesting because you know you eat peanuts for so long and you never think about them growing. It's neat to see how they do. So we are doing these in wide rows and we're using um, some stuff we put in everything. The the vegan mix, vegan fertilizer mix because I like it because it doesn't burn things. It's a uh, very gentle. This one so you can kind of throw it on anything and it works and it's pretty balanced there's a little more nitrogen so um, we also threw in a little volcano ash to amazonite to uh, to get it up and rolling so we'll just mix this in just gently and then we'll start popping peanuts in I'm doing wide rows and you're like why is these so wide um, they're about four foot rows one they require a lot less watering Two, the mounds give it room to drop its peanuts. And I'm gonna show you later, peanuts develop like little pegs that come down and hit the soil. So peanuts will grow real high and then they'll tip over. And when they tip over, that's when they actually make peanuts. They have to touch the soil. So I wanna give them stuff to grab onto and lots of room. So even though this doesn't look big, because we're giving them so much room, we'll still have a pretty decent yield. It's kind of like the same idea here is, yeah, I probably could have square gardened the hell out of this, um, but most likely if I give my plants more room, they'll produce more and it'll end up being a wash. And I have to water way less like this. Big wide rows require a lot less watering. And, uh, and it's very easy to weed. I just walk in here with the wheel hoe and jam it out. It takes like 10 minutes. So what you can see here is we've got sandy loam. Um, and we wanted to give the peanuts some nutrients to help grow and inoculate them to give them a better chance but you don't necessarily need it peanuts can grow in pretty rough soil they're kind of like sweet potatoes 
Also, just like sweet potatoes, they are a very warm crop. So if you try to plant them before the soil is about 60 degrees, you're gonna have a bad time. So don't uh, wait until it warms up. And what we did to save the really good soil is we just mounded good soil on top of the other mounds. And you do not have to do mounds. You don't have to do it this way. Um, we just like this because it's easier for harvesting. It's like a poor man's raised bed. And we'll just scoot through these aisles. So we're going to take them out of the inoculant. And because we have enough room on this mound, we're kind of just zigzagging them. What is the depth of this? Do you remember, Laura? Uh, two inches in. Two inches in and... Four to six inches apart. Because they're pretty, there's a lot of room to run here, we're probably just going to roll four inches and try to stuff a bunch in. That but is. zigzag them around just to give them a little extra room. And so you can see how that's done. We're just forking them out. Kind of be gentle. And remember, you want to put the tip down. The white tip goes down. That's the tap root. And just close them up, tap root down, laces out, Dan. That's an old reference. <laughs> and there you go. It's that fast. Bam, you got peanuts. Look at that. So here's a peanut that is like, we planted about four or five days ago. You can get an idea of the size of it. It's awesome. Some of the other ones aren't even really up yet. Like this is a, this is planted at the same time and it is not up yet. So we did throw some, uh, we threw some straw down just to, since we're not here to water it all the time. We like to throw straw on young plants just to give them a chance to get going. Don't forgive it to water it in. Just even a gentle watering is fine. We'll do more story later uh, as these develop and we actually pull them up and show you the whole process. But I didn't want you to miss the whole season. So this is enough to get you started. And then at the end of the season, I'll make an update. So, you know, I'll get some peanuts in the ground. It's really fun to watch them grow. Okay, we love you guys. Remember, we're looking for people. If you have kind of a vegan spiritual slant, hit our uh, Telegram group. We are a homestead in South Carolina just starting out on some raw ground. So we're trying to look for people that want to help. Uh, the other thing is all of our Uncensored videos are over at Odyssey and Brighteon and BitChute. Since YouTube censors us so poorly, uh, we can't talk freely on here, so we just have to keep it to just the farming stuff. So catch us over there. We love you. Take care of each other. Get planting. Get those peanuts in the ground.